The judge is in the, the courtroom now and things are starting to get underway. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in also crime host and legal analyst Terry Austin for more on this uh, this trial as, as we follow it, uh, gavel to gavel, moment by moment. Um, Terry, you know, Alex uh, mentioning uh, potential witnesses today. Uh, any idea on who the defense uh, will bring in? It seems to me, Kira, that the defense has been focusing quite a bit on the fact that there was a lot of crime in the area, and this is why the McMichaels and Roddy Bryan were out there. They were trying to help the community, and they were aware of the crime that was going on. So I think that we are going to hear from other people who were talking about the crime, who were posting on Facebook about the crime. The judge did make it clear, however, that all of these reports about the crime in the neighborhood really is not relevant. What is relevant is what did Travis and Greg McMichael know about that crime and what did Roddy William Bryant know about that crime. So if, in fact, they can connect the relevance, the defense, I think, is going to bring in a number of witnesses who were familiar with the crime in the neighborhood and who may have made some of those 911 calls. And, of course, there's always the possibility that one or more of the defendants might just take the stand. And if so, that will be very interesting to watch what they have to say as to why they, in fact, chased down Ahmaud Arbery and ultimately shot and killed him. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.